So then, Newcastle United are finally back. This is getting recorded on Sunday, and in today's video, we're going to be going over absolutely everything that happened between Newcastle United and Southampton. If you want to go and see the vlog, I put it at the top. There'll be a link in the description, and it'll be on the end screen on the video. Make sure to watch it if you haven't watched it already. But today's video, we're going to be going over absolutely everything that happened in that game versus Southampton. I think we've got a lot to go over. I was going to do it on Saturday night, but I reflect a little bit. We go up nice and fresh on Sunday and discuss it all here. Make sure to leave a like, boys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get into now. Let's just go over absolutely everything that happened in the game versus in Southampton. So before I go on at any like stats or anything, I'm going to mention the red card. I feel like that's the first thing I've got to mention, right? And you'll see a couple of photos and stuff on screen of, of what happened. My point of view, so when it exactly happened, we got given a free kick and then the ball's been been passed over and Brenton Diaz has just shoved Fabian Shaw and Fabian Shaw's reacted and did he have to react? Probably not. I think I understand why he did react. The, the, the ball's not even in play and he sat there and he shoved him for no reason. He's reacted, he's a human being. He's not like some robot who, who's got to function and everything. He's a human, he's reacted and that's fair enough. I think when a player knows the law and if you put your head on someone else's head, you're gonna get sent off. It's it's it doesn't matter how embarrassing it was for Brent and Diaz jumping on the floor like an absolute bane. It's a law, and it's a shit law, and I don't agree with the law, but it's the law, and but you can't change that. It's set in stone, but you can't do anything about that. I don't feel like Fabian Shaw goes in like that. I feel like they both go t towards each other. And I feel like if Fabian Shaw jumped on the floor like a little bitch, the, the probably both would have got a yellow. Um, but the fact that he jumped on the floor, army head me head, and the fact that VR even looked at that and, and said, yeah, you know what, we think Fabian Shaw's head butted him. It's shit, but it is probably... Some, uh, it's, it's, it's annoying, because... It's not a red card. It's not a red card. By the law, it's a red card. But is it a red card? Not in a million years. It, honestly, if that... It, Beren and Diaz has got banned. If that's my father doing that, I'd be absolutely fuming. I'd expect to walk into school and get bullied. I really would. It's, 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 it really is embarrassing. It, it is. And honestly, I would see the exact same thing if it was Fabian Shaw. I don't... It, 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 it's shit and it needs to get sorted out. If Brevin and Diaz done that five and shot he's rolling around the floor, I'd be like, fucking what are you doing? Just get on with the game. We're nil nil against a side that's just been promoted. Let's get on with it. And the fact that he probably changed the game for the better because Newcastle were quite slow in, in the game. But we'll go on to that in a second. The, the, the actual red card itself, by law, it's a red card. But it's annoying because it's not a red card. It is... It's a frustrating one. You can you, you can see both sides. If it's say like just in the middle of the game and they've done it, I can understand it a little bit more. The fact that it was off the ball and he shoved Fabian Shaw, I think it's it's a shit rule. It's something that we're gonna have to get changed, but it won't, and we're gonna have to just move on. Thinking that obviously Fabian Shaw's red card will not get rescinded. He will miss Bournemouth away. Tottenham away, Tottenham at home, sorry, and then Wolves away. I'm not too sure if the red card will be there for the. Cup game into Nottingham Forest. If so, we will play Wolves. I'm not quite sure what the rules are. I think it might be only Premier League games, so I think you will miss the three Prem games, which will be Bournemouth, Tottenham, and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Speed about the game itself, I didn't want to mention it too much too much there, so before the red card, I feel like Southampton were probably the better side and probably the better side on the day. I feel like they just weren't clinical enough. But going into the actual game, um they started the better side. We didn't really create any chances. If you actually look at the stats for the game, Newcastle had three shots and one on target the whole game. Southampton had 19. I think a lot of them shots were blocks and, and didn't create anything off them. I think a lot of shots were far out as well. I had a couple of clear cut chances, yes, but I wouldn't say enough to, to, to get a goal. That Lewis Hall off the line, and that was really it. The score offside, but it was blatantly offside, so you, you can't do much about that. Um, the actual game itself, before obviously the red card, I think it's having to be the better side. We needed something to happen if it was going to be a close chance for Newcastle because I feel like the crowd was there, like, especially in my corner, the strawberry corner. I feel like we were singing and that, but, but I think the whole stadium just needed to get a bit of something, just get a bit rowdy and just get away, man. Away. And then 
that red card came and like, look, we need to dig in now. These have got a lot of energy on the side. They've got some quick players on the bench. We need to dig in deep. We're, it's 12 8 10 with the referee. We've got to dig in deep and try and do well. And with this, so they obviously the, the goal. Um, could create a goal um, for me, Zach. Obviously, he got gifted it by the goalkeeper. Um, would have Newcastle scored another goal if we didn't get gifted by McCarthy? Probably not. Probably not. Um, He's that good ball in the box and Joe Linton was going to score. I love when Joe Linton scores because it's, it's literally like, it's like heaven. He's, he's so happy. And honestly, he's so happy when he scores and it's, it's so great to see. So I was buzzing Joe Linton scored. He's on the back of this top. So I was I was even happy that he scored. The absolute boy, oh, really happy that he scored. Um, and got Newcastle a win in the end. Second half, I feel like defensively we were really good. I feel like Emil Cross' performance will not get spoken about. I feel like he done really well. Dan Byrne was really good as well. I thought Longstaff was really good as well. Not a, lot, a lot of players on, uh, for us were, were really good apart from the attacking side, you could say. Isaac didn't really create much. Anthony Gordon looked sluggish. Um, and obviously Murphy got substituted off and then Barnes came on, didn't really do much. But defensively, I thought Lewis Hall, I thought defensively he was quite good. But attacking-wise, on the ball, wasn't great. Give a ball, give the ball away a couple of times. I mean, off the ball he was brilliant. On the ball he was he was quite shit. Clear one off the line. Um, Dan Berman's really dominant in his in his box. I feel like defensively we were really good. I think Tino had a little bit of a quiet game, but done what he needed to do. Kept the, the, the wingers quite quiet. I thought, um, especially in the first half. What's going to change for Bournemouth next week? I feel like the lads have got that win. I feel like a bit more settled. Lloyd Kelly came on. He'll be playing in his first start more than likely. Or Emil Kraft will start as, uh, instead. A big Kraft or, or Kelly uh, more than likely will be Emil Kraft. But Kelly will play again against a side that he's just left in Bournemouth. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. I'll see Eddie Howe's going back to Bournemouth where everything started. Speaking more on, on the game that happened yesterday. Yes, there's probably a lot of things there that we could improve on, but I thought Bruno being captain was, was really good as well. Shouting at the lads, got them all told, it was really good to see. I feel like we could see, see a lot more from Newcastle coming into next week. I feel like, what I've always said, good teams sometimes tend to not play well, but still pick up three points. Newcastle did not play well, probably didn't deserve to win, but we still won the game. That's when you know you've got a good side, in my opinion. Yeah, it, It's always them, them games where you struggle to win, but you still win because you've you've got that quality and got that edge. Look at last season. We didn't beat Luton at home. We didn't beat Bournemouth at home. We didn't beat Everton at home. Home or away, I should say, sorry. And we've got that win against Southampton, a team that's going to be down there. Last season, we missed out on Champions League by nine points. And winning a game like that could come in crucial towards the end of the season. So every point is crucial. Every game is crucial. And... Start off the season with a win, you couldn't ask for much more, the, the Linton or Joe Linton to go, everything, everything's on the channel, so make sure I watch all the stuff for the Southampton game, but really good win, Newcastle United need it more than, more than anyone, we needed that win to start off the season well, and hopefully we can go on to, to Bournemouth next week without Fabian Shaw, without Tonali, and then go on to Forest in the Cup, get a little bit of momentum going, Newcastle normally to start the season, I tend to be up and down, a little bit shaky, and look at last season, we won the first game, then lost the next three, we can't continue that, we've got a, a, a very good run of games at the start, being obviously Bournemouth next week, we've got Forest in the Cup, which is still a tough game, you've got Tottenham in home, which we all know what happened, and Tottenham come to St James's, then you've got Wolves, could be five wins there, including the Southampton game, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, boys, that's a little a little talk about about everything, the red card, everything about it. I had to get, had to get off my chest, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like, boys, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all in the next video.